Hello and welcome to the next session that is Mocha testing framework. So Cypress by default uses Mocha testing framework. It's very similar to JUnit in Java or any unit in C Sharp. So what is Mocha testing framework? Mocha is a feature rich JavaScript testing framework that runs on Node.js and in the browser. Making asynchronous testing simple and fun. Remember Cypress runs all uh, commands as asynchronous commands. So it this Mocha testing framework also do the testing of asynchronous code. Now Mocha tests run serially, allowing for flexible and accurate reporting while mapping uncaught exceptions to correct test cases. So this is a brief about Mocha. Now you don't have to separately install any library or anything for this. Next thing, it consists of two things. First, describe. So describe is just like a test suit. Okay, so what is describe? Describe is a simple way to group our tests like a test suit in Mocha. It has two arguments. One is the test suit name and second is the callback function. What is a callback function? A callback function is something which executes when another function has finished executing. That's why we call it callback. So next thing it has is IT. Okay, IT will be written inside describe. Describe, as I said, is a test suit. IT will be a test case. So singles describe will have multiple IT. Okay, so IT is an individual test case, which is nested inside the describe block. Again, IT will also have two arguments. One will be the name of the test case and second will be the callback function. Okay, so let's see how we write it. So I'll open the Visual Studio code once. Here I am. And inside the integration folder, if you remember, we created one folder with name test cases. So in this test cases, I'll create my, let's say first test case dot, uh, dot spec dot js. Now what is this spec dot js? See, this is the name of the file dot spec dot js is the syntax which Cypress suggests us to write, to run any test case or to write any test cases. If you'll see all the sample test cases, they also has this spec.js. Okay, so this is a recommended way of writing or creating the test classes. Okay. Now inside this, the very first line we'll write is, we'll add a reference types equal to Cypress. So basically with this command, it is, it is types. With this command, what we are doing is we're telling our Visual Studio code, our ID, that the code we are writing is of type Cypress. So this that will start highlighting uh, the Cypress uh, recommendations, or you can say it will open up the IntelliSense. Now, after this, the very first thing you need to do is see here, when I started writing describe, it actually giving started giving me suggestion. So if you'll remove this reference command or the this line, it will not give me these suggestions. Okay, so I'm using describe and now, Inside this describe, as I said, it needs two argument. One, the name of the test suit. So let's say I call it test suit one. Okay, and then you need to pass a callback function. Now callback function uh, uses the JavaScript syntax, right? So either you can say function and the name of the function and then uh, like this. So you can say function, say test, right? And like this, you can create. So this is one way of creating a function in JavaScript, we, this name of the test method is also not required. So you can simply remove it or you can also use arrow function. Okay. Now how an arrow fiction is written, just do round brackets, then an equal to, and then this angular sign. What is arrow function? I'll cover that in one of the separate video. You can follow that uh, for now. This becomes my callback function. Okay. So either you can use this standard way of writing, or you can use this arrow function, all works fine. Okay. So let me give you um, like examples for both. So I'll say function test round bracket start, and I'll remove this. Okay. And you can have multiple test suits as well. Okay. So um, I'll remove this just test keyword here. You can have simply a function and round bracket. Okay, and then I will give you an option or example. 
where you can just get rid of this name as well as the function keyword and you can write it in this way so this is an arrow function we'll talk about arrow function in a separate video okay but you can say this is just calling this method so this is also a callback function now inside this you can use it it is the test case so let's say i call test case one here okay and then you can use any of the syntax for now okay now inside this say for example i just add cy dot log now cy is an object which has everything with respect to cypress you can call all the methods of cypress using this cy command cy dot and you'll get the list of the methods one of the method is log where you can this method you can use to just write a message as a log so let's say i say test case one okay like this i can have multiple test cases inside a suit so i can say like this i have added three to test cases test case two test case three this also i say three and this i say two and save the file as soon as you save the file in your cypress test runner you will see that file is included okay now you can run this by just double clicking on it okay so when you double click what it do is whatever browser you have selected from here it will open that browser and in one side you will see uh, the test running and in the right side it executes whatever you have written right now i have not given any command to open any browser or anything so it just created a three test suit okay uh, right now it has one two one all the three has one name so i can just go and change this name to say test suit two test suit three okay uh, as soon as you save you can see so as soon as you save it will rerun the test okay when you click on it you'll see what command we had written given just to run a log file so log command so you can see log test case one test case two test case three and here are the so that's that's all in this task where we learned how we can create test suit and test cases in mocha framework thank you